TV. We are here today with Dr. Michael Wall, Doctor of nutrition, of nutrition and Director of Nutritional Services at Integrated Medicine of Mount Kisco, PC. Our topic is medications and nutritions. What are the main differences in use of medications and nutritional? Well, obviously, medications are used by traditional doctors for a variety of health problems. And in the alternative or complementary healthcare field, diet, lifestyle, and nutritional supplements can also be used as disease treatments or at least adjunctives or additional things along with medications to treat a variety of, of diseases. The, the basic difference between the use of medications and nutrients is that medications, as one might imagine, are generally for symptom suppression, although medications can uh, cut a, an inflammatory process down such that a person can actually recover and cure that person, as an example. But generally, medications are symptomatic band-aids for the most part. Nutrients are factors like vitamins or vital elements that the body must have for repair. So although nutrients and diet generally take longer than medications for symptomatic relief, they can also affect healing, and the healing process simply takes longer. So in a nutshell, nutrients and diet are more for long-term and short-term healing processes, and medications are for symptoms. Can a medication ever intervene with the workings of a nutrition? And conversely, can taking a certain nutritional supplement ever disrupt the workings of a certain medication? Drug-nutrient interactions are very well known and need to be uh, heated. Uh, in other words, if a person is taking various medications and is unaware of the negative drug-nutrient interactions, they can reduce the effects of their intended medications, not to mention not receive the potential benefits of the supplements. So there are synergistic or beneficial drug-nutrient interactions, which means that the nutrient and the drug works well together. But there are also many, many examples of antagonistic drug-nutrient interactions where the drug will negatively interfere with the nutrient or the nutrient will negatively interfere with the medication. There are, there are far too numerous to mention, and that's to be dealt with on an individual basis between each particular person and their healthcare provider to figure that out. What diseases can be most effectively treated by nutrition alone, if any? Well, a, a number of studies have shown, and my 23 years of clinical experience have proven out, that a variety of health issues ranging from cancer to psoriasis and, and eczema to pretty much anything can be helped with nutrition potentially. Nutritional deficiencies aren't the cause of every disease. But diseases and health problems always cause nutritional problems. So in either case, nutrition should always be fundamental for healing. But there are studies, for example, using both oral and especially intravenous vitamin C, where it's been shown that vitamin C works like chemotherapy without any side effect, killing cancer cells. It won't kill all cancer cells, but it helps. The fact that we can use calcium for, for bone health or vitamin D for bone health or reducing all cause morbidity and mortality, particularly lowering of heart disease risk. So those are just a few examples of how nutrients can be used and have been extensively studied to treat and also prevent literally thousands of disease conditions and symptoms. What, according to recent research, are some common diseases that are most suited to a combination of medications and nutritional supplements? Well, in my opinion, the more common diseases are definitely amenable to either the use of nutrients or certainly drug-nutrient combinations and, and diet and lifestyle, of course. So the common chronic degenerative diseases seen, uh, at least in the United States, would include uh, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, stroke, and various autoimmune diseases like lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, there's osteoporosis, there's your wear and tear osteoarthritis, all of these health problems and many others are known to respond to improvements in diet and nutrition. So we're talking beyond just improvements in diet, but actually taking herbal and vitamin and mineral supplements. 
Why most doctors uh, or many doctors do not seem to know this, I really don't know. It's just a matter of their looking at research. And the National Library of Medicine and the various medical databases clearly have these scientific studies there. So uh, it's been proven out. This has been Dr. Michael Welb.